Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. <laughs> I can't even talk. Uh, do you get bumps in your week? We do. No. <laughs> We've had a lot of bumps. Okay, today is August 30th, 2023. Thank you so much for joining us. Today's devotional is called A Good Foundation. I was just talking about this. A Good Foundation. From Ephesians 2, verses 11. Oh, well... Okay, so this says Ephesians 2, verses 11 through 22, which also happens to be our scripture reading. But I'm sure there's a little typo that's not, there. That's a little typo. That's yeah. not the actual verse. Um, so the lead in scripture says, being rooted and grounded in love. Hmm. Okay. okay, it took me a lot a lot of words to get that out. A lot of words. Okay. dokie. Okay. Wherefore, remember that you being in time past Gentiles in the flesh... Who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at that, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. That's really good. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. For to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself, being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building, fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. You look like you wanted to share something. So. Oh, Dan Mola read <clears throat> Ephesians 2, no, Philippians 2. I'm wrong chapter. Wrong book. <laughs> But he read Philippians 2 five times a day for five weeks. Mm. Philippians 2. Marinate on that one. So why he chose five weeks? That's just what God led him to do. Yeah. Okay. It is quite easy to construct a building if the foundation is secure. On the other hand, a building will be unstable if it does not have a solid understructure. Likewise, it is not very easy to rise spiritually unless we have a real spiritual power working within us. It will never do for us to be top heavy. The base must always be very firmly set. Many of us have not gone on in the Lord because we have not had a secure foundation in him. And we will have to consider the pit from which we are dug. Isaiah 51 1. Unless we correctly understand the spiritual leadings, according to the mind of God, we will never be able to stand when the winds blow, when the trials come, and when Satan appears as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11.14 That is so important to know. Repeat it. When Satan appears as an angel of light. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We can prevent ourselves from being deceived by being in the word, mm. knowing the truth. Mm. There must be three things in our lives if we wish to go all the way with God in the fullness of Pentecost. First, we must be grounded and settled in love. We must have a real knowledge of what love is. Second, we must have a clear understanding of the word, for love must manifest the word. Third, we must clearly understand our own ground because it is our own ground that needs to be looked after the most. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord speaks of mm, the Lord speaks at least twice of the good ground into which seed was sown, which also bore fruit and brought forth some hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. Matthew thirteen eight and Mark four eight. When in the good ground the seed yielded different portions of fruit. I maintain truly that there is no limitation to the abundance of a harvest when the ground is perfectly in the hands of the Lord. So we must clearly understand that the word of God can never come forth with all its primary purposes unless our ground is right. But God will help us, I believe, to see that he can put the ground in perfect order as it is left in his hands. Mm. Thought for today, we will never be able to stand unless we are firmly fixed in the word of God. Mm. Yes. Continually till, tilling the field. I know the potato harvesters when they, every year they till the soil, and every year they bring up more rocks that they have to get rid of. Continually perfecting the soil. Yeah. Thank you for joining us.